coming in at roughly 400,000 coins, that's the price of an elite tier center back, and a center back you expect to be elite tier in game. Ibrahimi, or Ibrahimi, or Ibrahima. I don't even know how to pronounce his first name. Couldn't I say? I don't know why I try to literally pronounce his first name when I know I'm shit with, with name pronunciations, but Kanate Future Stars, 407,000 coins. Might drop a little bit more as he is obviously still in packs. He is six foot four with medium high work rates, three star skill moves with 83 pace, 81 acceleration, and 84 sprint speed, which is good as well. It's not like one of the cards with 90 sprint speed and 80 acceleration. Dribbling for a center back, especially off his caliber, a six foot four center back with seven. 77 agility and 80 uh, and sorry 90 composure you know 86 reactions is really respectable dribbling for as I said a big 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 tall guy like himself defensively he is phenomenal um, I feel like I've gone for the shadow because you want that plus 10 pace and I feel like with an anchor, I think plus 5 pace isn't enough, so 93 pace in game, um, as well obviously goes to like 96 defending, 99 interceptions, 93 hitting, um, 92 awareness with 99 stand and 99 slide tackle. Defensively, he's got 93 strength with no chem style, so once again, I, I don't think an anchor is too much of an issue, you're not missing out on much. 80 stamina as well as a centre back, more than enough. He's got the injury prone trait, which is not ideal, but nonetheless boys, this looks like a great card. If you aren't yours, well, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let me just run you through how this play review is going to work. We're going to try him out in game. Obviously, we've gone over his in depth uh, stats, and also we are going to uh, have a look at some gameplay. Now, let me flick over to the footbin point of view here and actually have a look at this card with a shadow in game. Chuck a shadow on him. He's a 93 rated center back in game, 93 pace with 96 defense. And I feel like what makes this card so expensive like, is the fact that he's six foot four. Six foot four, respectable dribbling stats, 93 pace, and like 96 defending in game. I feel like this card as well, obviously French and Premier League links is links to Kempembe, links to all the Prem players, links to this new honorable mentions, Rudiger. Man, I think this is gonna be a top tier center back. Let's get into the review. Right, let's go. Let's have a look at the team we will be playing. It is currently Foot Champs playoffs as well. It's a good team. It looks like he's got... I thought he was a Chelsea fan at first, because I, mean, I think he still is, right? Looks like a lot of Chelsea players. Kovacic, Zola, Fernando Torres, Kante, Pulisic. And also, nice team. He's got that Dortmund strong link between the Kanji and that Skulls. Skulls, I think it's called as well. Um, good team. Koza, Klaus. Big test. Right, Kanate. Now, first impressions with him. He's six foot four with 77 agility. As a centre back, I wasn't expecting him. I was expecting him to have like 60 ball and 60 agility. It can low key come in as an advantage. Like, honestly, turning on the ball with him, he's absolutely massive. And I feel like going into challenges, you're going to feel confident with him, right? But not only that, he like feels solid on the ball. I'm not trying to pass you on the back. I just want to try him out a little bit. So. Man, I'm really excited to try this card. I feel like the body frame he's got and the pace, that's what makes him so expensive, right? Like, on paper, he doesn't look like a 400,000 coin center back, but in-game, he's got the stats that matters. Game number two, now for the Kunate review, um, I told you guys he feels good on the ball, etc, etc. We scored a goal straight away, and he rage quit in 10 minutes. So instead of showing that, let's just jump, jump straight into the second game. Uh, Kunate genuinely didn't even have to make a tackle. His only touch of a ball is what you guys saw, and that was me testing out his dribbling. Now this is a sensational team. Serie A, strong link with that moments, Verde and Damian. He's got that league in. Oh, this is a nice team, you know. This is a really respectable team. It's different, say different, Varane Walker, you get what I mean. In the sense, it's kind of like too shibbity. It's not different, but it's unique, and he's actually linked it in really well. Granate, beautiful. He's an absolute menace. A right trigger, left trigger jockeying with him. He, like, yeah, like, sensational. Six foot four, and he's actually got some nice agility, so the right trigger, left trigger, like, jockeying is, is much more usable with him. Absolute monster. He towers over him. Granate... Hey, you know what? That's such a jammy rebound for him. I was literally about to say as well, Kunate, we went for that slide tackle to go down, um, and he puts his whole body in front of it, which is nice, but yeah, that, that's unfortunate. Lucky rebound, Kunate not at fault, nor is my keeper. That's just some, you know, EA jamminess. Nothing you can do, boys. Kunate, going for that. Yeah, he's an absolute tank, and that strength and aggression to follow up gets that pass through. It's just his frame suits the center back so, so well, man. His body frame. Granate, get that slide tackle through. Absolutely incredible. What else can I say? Granate. I believe that was the AI getting that tackle in, uh, tackle in, and that is absolutely amazing. 
Let's hold it up a little bit. Hey, we do win the throw from it. Yeah, uh, boys, I can see why this card is so expensive. If you've tried Headliner's Van Dyke, he genuinely feels very similar to Van Dyke in the sense he's just as tall. I feel like he is genuinely a budget Headliner's Van Dyke. You could even debate. I wouldn't say he's better than Headliner's Van Dyke, but him and Van Dyke is a centre-back partnership. Obviously, a Liverpool, uh, a dream for Liverpool fans, but that's so good, man. That's so good. Well, what a performance from Canate, lads. Honestly, this card is sensational. As you can see, the pros and the cons on your screen right now. Man, I feel like his stats don't suggest a 400,000 coin card. But as soon as you use him in-game, you will see how overpowered he actually is. Six foot four, defending, physical, and we're going to put his body type under pros. He's got the high and average body type, but he's so, like, heavy in, in a sense, like... He's an absolute tank, powering over your opponent, and he's actually got some solid agility and balance for a player of his height and his body type, so it just complements everything so, so, so well. Uh, Kim Stoll has definitely got to be a shadow. As for Lynx as well, he gets that strong link down to the headliners Van Dyke and that flashback Raphael Varane. Honestly, man, what a card this is. I'm going to give him a 9.3 out of 10, and I think he's probably, if you look at other Premier League center backs in comparison to him, I would say he ranks probably top three, and I'll genuinely say behind, actually I'll say top three behind Team of the Year DS, Raphael Varane, and then you can debate between Headliners Van Dyke and the uh, Future Stars Konate for third and fourth. You can debate between those two. I've personally not tried Van Dyke, but going from past FIFAs, he's very similar in that sense. So I'll say he's third, if not fourth, top uh, top centre back in the Premier League and if you if you didn't complete Varane, if you don't have enough fodder or if you cannot afford headliners Van Dyke or a team of your DS when Kanate is the next best thing and in my opinion 100% he showcased his worth today. Going into tackling, his, his tackle animation was sensational. Um, yeah, Man honestly what a card, I highly recommend picking him up. I hope you guys did enjoy and until next time, see you later.